Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you. You know, I don't know whether y'all seeing us early or whether y'all seeing us late. We had a, <coughs> excuse me, a slight technical difficulty. But at any rate, we're going to do this thing the way we're going to do this thing. Amen. I am Elder Valeria Coley. This is Set Apart. We say welcome, welcome, welcome. As you can see, I do have a guest, a returning guest. Amen. This is my my son, my only son, um, Sir Brandon Walker. And we wanted to come back and just share with you um, what the Lord is um, giving him and is, is blessing me. So I wanted to come on and share with you, whether it is the afternoon where you are, whether it's in the evening, we just pray that uh, what what we will share with you all tonight or this afternoon will be a blessing to you. Amen. Um, again, this is Set Apart. Set Apart was derived from, <clears throat> excuse me, Romans 1 and 1, where the Apostle Paul said he had been set apart for the gospel of God. And even in this day and time, we have to take so seriously of our assignments. We have to take so seriously of what God is doing with his people and a lot of times we, we'll, we'll come on and we'll do different things and we'll say different things. And a lot of people don't understand when, when there is an assignment, God has given us an assignment. We have to do it regardless of what somebody think, what somebody might try to do, because we have to be accountable to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I pray that you all pray with us, pray for us, that what is shared tonight will definitely be a blessing to you. Um, on on last time, um, my son, well, actually the initial, my son was to talking about, he was so fascinated about Noah and with some other things that came up in that conversation. And, to, and, and today, tonight, we want to talk about conformity versus obedience, conformity versus obedience. And I'm going to allow Brandon to, to lay the footwork and then we're going to build on that, but conformity versus obedience. And we're going to, I would jump off scripture for, for this session is Titus chapter two, verses 12, verse 12. And it says in King James, it says, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Titus 2 and 12, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. So with, with, with that being said, we as the children of God, we have a standard that we have to maintain. And we also have to understand how to maintain that standard. So with that being said, um Brandon, you wanna you wanna start uh laying this foundation?
That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. It was male. Mm -hmm. Right. Alligators, crocodiles, snakes, yeah. Mm -hmm. His daughter, Pharaoh's daughter, right. Mm -hmm.
It was Miriam, his sister, that told Pharaoh's daughter that she knew his mother and she could take him. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord led him there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Mm hmm Right. 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 Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Correct.
Right. Because he was in a foreign land. Right. Right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Right. 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 The unknown. Right. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Right, because it was there, he was learning, quote unquote, or he was complying with their custom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is correct. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Right. But it did, but it didn't. I got you. Right, right. Correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yep. Nope. Right. Trying to fit in. That's it. Is that your, okay, that's what that is. That's your microphone on your, you got, your, yeah, because it's rubbing against the thing. So go ahead. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Zipporah, yeah. It's it's a Z, but we're not gonna get stuck on this the name. But it's we we say Zipporah. That's what we say, Zipporah. Mm-hmm. It's good, Brandon. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Right. That's right. That's right. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm you going you you going down a different perspective go ahead I got you Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Mm hmm. Internalization, yes. Because of because I'm um, because I'm interject because he he was learning because all of this is about perspective. He was learning his wife's God, and he okay okay. Mm -hmm. that, that is correct. Yes, sir. Right. The voice he heard was unfamiliar, but he answered through it. Right. Right. No. No. He did not, not like Samuel did, but Moses, that's right. Cause Samuel, yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Right. It's okay, internalization, right. Mm-hmm. 
That's right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. Right. That's right. That's right, Brandon. You're doing good. <coughs> That's right. That's right. So he just shifted from conformity to obedience, right? Okay. I'm just, I'm, okay, I'm here for it. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 I am not of eloquent speech. That is correct, sir. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. 
Now, why you say that? Because he go he went back to Egypt, and and that's the place he left because of him killing the Egyptian. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay. Mm. Mm. He's scared, but he know God got a plan. So there, there is there has been an affirmation. Okay. He know God has a plan because he's sending him back. And okay, go ahead. I'm listening. <laughs> Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Correct. Hold your microphone up. Right. Right, 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 right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Let the microphone go. Let your microphone go. It's click it's clacking. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. That's good. That's good. Yes, sir, I do. You said your love and what does not over... Oh, okay. 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 Okay, now I want, I want y'all to understand. This is what I want you all to understand. My son, okay. He, God, is, God is using my son, and I'm grateful. God is using my son as a sign because Brandon is, Brandon is, <laughs> Brandon is not that, not that child. My girls, but Brandon is not that child that that you know he he I can't he he he'll tell me I my mom studied the Bible like you like you do. But now God is you doing what he's doing with him and and he I'm telling you this thing right here, I'm I I look, I'm trying I'm trying to hold myself. But okay. God will will use the very one that you don't think to show him to, to show us who he is. 
And I know it's God because it's my prayers being manifested. And I'm and I'm and I'm saying that like this because there may be somebody that watches this and you and you hear Brandon and you hear what he's saying and 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 and, and you see the thirst that he has. I didn't I didn't force the Bible down my children's throat. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. We we went to church all the time, but okay. So I just want you all to make point of that. But you said your love and, and your emotions cannot overthrow obedience. Mm-hmm. He could have. Roll right out. <laughs> Roll right out. Right. Right. By way of his wife. Yes. 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 It's a process. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's right. That's good, Brandon. That's good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Right. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, even even with what you just said, Brandon, with with uh, because that was good, because you said it. You, if you, because we are human, our obedience will drop back to compliance. Right. Okay, so when you said that, I thought about Moses. Huh? Say that again. Right, and but I'm the point I was I was getting ready to make was because you said it when because we are human, our obedience has the capacity to drop down back to a compliance. I thought about when Moses, when they were in the wilderness, and he became frustrated with the people of God because God had given him a directive to speak to the rock, but because of his frustration, he hit the rock. And because of that, he when because he hit the rock, it kept him from going into the promised land. So, go ahead. Okay.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. Right. Right. Yes. Correct. None of us are. And that it, and there and there it and there goes the wisdom of God because God knew you were going to but he still showed us that we are still usable to 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 promote glory in the earth absolutely so the the scripture your scripture for obedience is Romans 5:19 Okay, so it says, for as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. And that and we and that scripture it, it it talks about it's talking about Christ, but we as as believers we have to we have to um follow after Christ. So it, it it applies to us too as believers because our disobedience can cause people to fall, but our obedience can cause people to walk in a righteousness like Moses, a righteousness that they are unfamiliar with, but because they have been exposed to it, there is there is a drawing that takes place and they go deeper into that unfamiliar place. Yes. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Right. That's good. Right.
Mm-hmm. I got you. I understand. Right. Right. So, so because what you just said that that's that's tender because you have you have so many you have so many people who do believe in people and 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 that's the thing that we have to be so careful about because the Bible tells us to put no confidence in man whatsoever. None. None. No, you should be obedient to the one that governs the person, which is God. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or be obedient to the the authority the person carries. Right. Okay. Wow. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of the things you remember, it was Bishop Staples that said it. He said obedience is immediate and exact. You remember that? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Because you, because you are, you are, you are, you are obeying the the authority of that of the, yeah, the authority, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Mhm. Okay. So compliance, identification and internalization in that order. Mhm. In that order. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. That's the yeah. That's that monkey wrench that the enemy throws. Mhm. 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 Wow. Wow. Okay.
Wow. What's going on? That's right. That's right. <clears throat> okay, cool. This is good. This is good. So, so you you definitely shared a lot of information and you um, enlightened. You have definitely enlightened. So, um, we're gonna. You pretty much got everything out that you that you wanted to convey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's good, Brandon. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay, man. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. So you want to you want to say a prayer before we get off? Okay. So <laughs> so Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the understanding, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for some things that have been that have been in in the atmosphere and somebody may have been thinking that they are not good enough to be used by you. And I thank you, God, for Brandon. And I thank you, Lord God, for you putting this in him, Lord God, that he was able to share with all of us, Lord God, that we we <clears throat> we go from conformity and we and we deal with compliance and we deal with um identification and we deal with internalization, Lord God. And it's all coming together, Lord God, that we may be a light in this place called the world. Because you, God, said in your word that you are the father of lights and you have called us the children of light. And I thank you, Father, for what you are doing even now because we know, God, that you are coming back for us. And I'm praying and asking you now, God, that we will all line up in our respective places, Lord God, that your glory be revealed wherever we may be. No matter what's going on, if somebody's dealing with anxiety, depression, thinking about homicide or suicide. God, we're praying, God, that you will put people in place, Lord God. People are dealing with financial issues, mental issues, whatever it may be, Lord God. We're asking, God, that you will raise up your people in those different arenas, Lord God, that those people will understand that you are still God and you still sit on the center of the earth and you are the God that is always, always in control. There is nothing, nothing 
that is out of control. And I thank you, Lord God, that you are the very God that holds the world in your hand. We are so grateful for your love towards us. We are so grateful for you giving us what we need, Lord God, that we will push forward and draw closer to you, even in this season of our lives. Strengthen us, Lord God, that we may continue to go forward, God, that we put our hands to the plow and that we don't look back. We don't look back because we know that it is a distraction. And we pray and ask you now, God, that you will give us exactly what we need that we push forward. Bless my son, Lord God. Continue to give him revelation. Continue to give him the thirst that you will have him to have, that he will draw closer to you. Bless his wife. Bless his children. And we are so grateful for your love for him. It's in the master's name of King Jesus that we pray. Amen and amen. Um, it is it is it is definitely a pleasure to to come before you all. Um, once again, and, and we are so grateful that you took the time to uh, tune in with us. I pray that that something was said that it revolutionized your life, that something changed in your mind, something changed in your spirit, that conformity versus obedience. And it's something that we all have to go through because it is a process. And remember, the process will always give the result what God desires. We have to maintain in the process so the enemy does not throw us off track. And that is the point that Brandon was making more than anything else. We have to understand that in this process, in this process, we have to maintain our belief in God. We have to maintain our prayer life. We have to maintain walking and doing and and acting right according to his word because i read to you in, in titus 2 12 that is we are the godliness of him we we operate in his word and he's he called us holy only because he's holy that's the only way that's the only reason why he calls us holy because he's holy and there and there goes the, the identification, we understand that we are his children. So we pray that this was a blessing to you. Continue to pray. If it be the Lord's will, we'll see you next week for another session of Set Apart. I thank Brent. Thank you, Sugar, for coming on. He Because he went through a whole lot of changes with this one. But we thank the Lord that he just came on and, and released whatever he needed to release. But we pray that um, you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, wonderful evening. And if it be the Lord's will, we'll see you next week for another session of Set Apart. God bless you. You got something else? Yes. Mm -hmm. that is good. and everything he created he said it was good yeah amen, amen. alright God bless y'all love y'all so much